Admire so much what you're all doing, and we thought maybe it might be due to something you ate. <laughs> <laughs> we wanted to get our share, but we've been having quite a conversation at our table, and I think I've done too much of the talking and should have done more listening. But uh, just at the risk of just a couple of minutes here, in addition to thanking you all for what you've done, it occurred to me because of what took place at our table that. Maybe some of the others of you, just at least time for one or two, and we've all got to get back to duty. Uh, maybe you might have a question that you've often thought if you had a chance you'd, uh, you'd like to ask, and if so, uh, fire away. No questions? <laughs> don't, be, uh, don't be afraid to. Uh, there must have been some time when you said to yourself, boy, if I could ask him. <laughs> so, and incidentally, my compliments to the crew back there. We enjoyed lunch very much. Anyone? If you don't, why? We've got a date with a couple of horses. <laughs> well, I was just, I will just sum up then and say we, maybe you have not caught up as completely as we have. I, just had a report this morning about the situation in Grenada. It has now down to a little scattered small arms fire in a place called Camp Cavini that is to the east of the city, St. George. And we believe there are an estimated 300 or so Cubans that have taken to the hills and it is rangers and airborne that are closing in on them. Very shortly, the Marines who were there, I don't know whether you know this, but the Marines that were there were not originally sent to be there. They were the rotation force on their way to Lebanon to relieve the, the uh, peacekeeping force there. But when the murder of Prime Minister Bishop happened, it was our fear that those young people in the medical school there, a thousand Americans or so, could possibly become hostages. And the fleet or flotilla that was taking the Marines there, we diverted it and had it circle to the south to just be in the vicinity in case we had a, 
a hostage problem. And then when the request came for the actual assault that we made, why they, they were a part of that assault. They are very shortly going to leave and be on their way to Beirut again. And the force of about 350 or so military that is made up from these small islands, uh, the other islands that asked for our help, are already in place now in the main city of St. George, and they are working with the Grenadians there for the maintaining of order there. So it's, it's just a case of that final mop-up of those 300 or so. And the last bulletin of news that I can give you is that as of this morning, we have found another storage base or warehouse on the other side of the island filled with weapons and munitions and so forth, Cuban, that was there. And there is no question that the Cubans were preparing for a complete takeover. It is estimated so far that they had enough weapons that we found so far that they could have outfitted at least 10,000 guerrillas. So uh, that's, that's the latest that I can give you on the situation in Grenada. But again, thanks for, yes. Yes, sir. Are the other countries seeing it the United States way? As far as our allies, are they seeing it? Are they for us now, sir? They're for us? Yes, sir. I think Again, was. Before, they, they really didn't uh, appreciate us going in there. Now are they seeing it that way? Uh, well, I think a lot of them made some public noises that were a little different than some of the private noises uh, that we've also heard. Uh, some were concerned that it was a violation of international law. But the group of islands that asked us to go, ask for our help, uh, had a mutual pact that included Grenada of mutual support. There literally is no government on Grenada. After they executed Bishop, all you had was a council of 15, they called themselves, of the militia, the military there. They had ordered a 24-hour uh, curfew round the clock and shoot on sight for anyone seen violating that, that curfew. And this was why we were fearful of the safety of ours. No, we know now, remember these islands are all part of the British Commonwealth, and the islands are now asking uh, the United Kingdom if the Commonwealth, the other Commonwealth, British Commonwealth nations, can now come and help the British Governor General on Grenada uh, reinstitute an interim government until they can have an election and let the people choose, as they had in the beginning, the kind of government uh, that they want to have. So I, uh, I don't think we're as alone in the world as the press would, uh, would have you think. But I also think something else, I might as well say. I think also that there are some trouble spots in the world where the people making the trouble may be having second thoughts about how much trouble uh, they want to make. And it's a good feeling. <laughs> well, thank, thank you very much. Sir. Mr. President, Mrs. Reagan, thank you very much for joining us today. I'm sure that the crew really enjoyed having you here. Thank you, sir. Okay. You almost went up the steps. Did you see that? No. Thank goodness.
the one with the round table. Yeah, but they didn't use Laurel at all? Uh, the staff used Laurel, but the actual head state meeting was three three countries. And then the president of the time was in two days, all set at a round table. So that nine people, so that one meeting that now has a round table, a chapter living room. So that building was probably uh, next to the one you said there, the most historic on the uh, common camp. Thank you again. Thank you. 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 Thank you.